Hi, this is Igor with part five of the series where I showcase third-party AI integration with DaVinci Resolve. In part four, we looked at a very exciting case of synthetic voiceovers generated right in Resolve. The new form was only occasionally punctured by recognizable symbols. In this episode, we will take a look at AI-based relighting using Switchlight API. Now, Resolve 18 comes with its own AI-based relighting tool, but it does not produce as effective 3D light as Switchlight does. Here are some other examples generated with the proof of concept relighting tool I built. How does this work? Switchlight uses AI to analyze planar images and generate compositing image map passes. The most critical one for our use case is the normal map. Those of you familiar with 3D rendering or compositing are already aware of what surface normals do. For everyone else, let's just say that the normal map allows you to use 3D lights to illuminate a flat image. Let's take a look at my tool. We have this two second clip shot at magic hour. It's nice, the foreground is very diffuse. So what if you wanna model the face a little more, give it a little more drama of light and shadow. We'll go to the effects and look for AI relight. The first thing we want to do is render normals. This will kick off a render in Resolve and upload those frames to Switchlight for processing where we'll get a, a surface normals pass back. This process will take a couple of minutes, so I will fast forward through this so you don't have to wait for it. But the results will be definitely worth it. The surface normals have downloaded and automatically connected to this effect you can see the difference is striking. If I disable the effect, this is the original that we started from, and uh, this is the relight just straight out of the box. Let's see what happens if we move one of the lights. That is pretty good. I'm actually going to go to Fusion to play with this because the interfaces are just a little bit more responsive than what I'm getting here in the edit page, but this is all very, very preliminary. It's something I kind of quickly put together. Even the UI is not very well organized, so it's just for the moment it works better in Fusion, but the functionality is pretty much the same. Let's press control space, bring in AI relight. See what happens if you move the light. It's The difference is quite striking and much more precise than what you get out of the Resolve Relight effect. So we wanted to, see, to, we wanted to keep it kind of magic hour, but uh, just give a little more drama. And, uh, and I'm going to turn the overlay off. Let's push play and cache these frames. There's quite a bit of difference between the original and what we came up with. And it's just plain fun to play with. It's, uh, it's really kind of cool. And of course, all of this is animatable. Let's go to the first frame and keyframe the positions of the two lights. And then go to the end. I only put two lights in this effect to keep it simple, but there's really no limit. You can put as many lights as you want. That's all for today. Let me know in the comments if this looks like a tool you could use in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Would this be a better tool to have than the voiceover tool from episode 4? I'm listening. <laughs>